game on a long-standing cinematic trope. Our very own Craig Treadway caught up with the cast of The Blackening for a look behind the scenes of this satirical summer blockbuster. Take a look. We can't all die first. That's the satirical tagline of the new slasher horror comedy, The Blackening. The film centers around a group of friends in a remote cabin for a Juneteenth weekend getaway. But what was supposed to be a fun-filled college reunion takes a dark and twisted turn when they discover that their every move is being watched by a killer who forces them into a game for their lives. Why us? Why are we being chased by a psycho killer? Told y'all, black people ain't got no business camping. This is black karma. The inspiration followed the short viral sketch written by Dwayne Perkins, who helped co-write the script and stars in the cinematic production. The writing process was collaborative and me and Tracy got very close, like me and Tim, but with the acting, it was, I was put in a situation that made me like vulnerable and very open. And to be able to do that with this particular group of people, the amount of joy and love that I got from that was just a little bit more than the writing, because it was, just like the actual like quantity of love was just more. I like light skin Aunt Viv more than I like dark skin Aunt Viv. Oh, yeah. Creative partner and co-writer Tracy Oliver was ready for anything thrown her way to make the vision come to life. Getting together with Dwayne and vibing and we literally threw like every idea against the wall <laughs> that we could possibly think of of what the movie could be about. But I just wanted to kind of capture that original short, just like the essence of it. As for the casting, director Tim Story had no problem pulling together the stellar comedic group. We we just kind of um, started from scratch, and that's what was fun about putting this cast together. We just looked for the best people. With an A-list cast of comedians, there was certainly no shortage of laughs to be had both on set and during press. Jermaine is Sorry? a rambunctious person. <laughs> I'm of the sort. Yeah, he's from Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Maryland. <laughs> I truly have not had more fun filming anything ever. It was legitimately like going to summer camp with your best friends, and that was from day one. And it's so cliche when people say, no, we get along, we like each other. No, we legitimately like each other, like we love each other. We're still texting, we're still talking on the phone, we're still hanging out, we're still doing all of those things, but could you imagine being on set with like your closest friends and half of them are comedians who like to act a fool and you have to keep a straight face, but you're like, oh my God, I can't, I'm about to cry. And the bond amongst the castmates runs beyond the laughs you see on screen. I trust Antoinette's decision making, <laughs> so I feel like I'm only splitting up from the group if the group is not in alignment with her decision. Yes. <laughs> because she's gonna come up with a whole game plan, and if someone else is saying do something different, I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go with her. Because I feel like y'all not gonna make it to the end. But no horror movie outing is complete without a posse to experience the thrills with. June 16th. June 16th. June 16th. Man, and this, that's, hey, look, and that's, hey. the June, that's the Juneteenth holiday right there. Yeah. So, y'all, we, we need to come out in droves. Bring your friends, your, your mama, your uncles, your aunties, your cousins. All y'all pull up. Tell everybody, your, your mama and them. All right. There it is. There it was. It's called The Black Inning, and it hits theaters tomorrow.